Steve Show, and I'm Steve. And today we're going to do a how-to segment. It's going to be how to clean the Fargo DTC 4500 card printer. Um, and as always, we're going to have the bad photo ID of the day at the end of the show. Um, before we get started on our how-to segment, I want to talk a little bit about this printer, which is the Fargo <laughs> DTC 4500. DTC stands for direct to card. It can come as a single-sided, dual-sided, or with lamination as we're showing it here. That's stacked on top of the card printer and the lamination can be either single sided lamination or dual sided lamination. So you got all the options available for you. You just decide what works best for you. 100 cards in and 100 cards out. This one actually has a dual hopper as a standard hopper so you can actually put 200 cards in, 100 cards out. Either different stock or you could use the same stock and, and just have to not change it as often. So that's a really nice feature. Comes standard with a USB connection Options are a mag encoder, ethernet, and also a contact smart card encoder. Um, this printer has a two year warranty and you can get a one year loaner. So if you had a problem with it that can't be fixed on site and we can't help you with, um, we can send it back and get a, a loaner from Fargo free on this printer, which is a nice, nice option. And you can change the card hoppers, which are shown on the side here, to also mount on the front of the printer. We can help you do that. Um, another nice thing that Fargo did was made this an Energy Star product, which means it's approved by the DOE and the uh, EPA as far as using a minimal amount of energy for a product of this class. So good job, Fargo. And as I mentioned, we're going to do a how to clean the Fargo DTC 4500. And to help us with that is Douglas from our tech department. So Douglas, show us how to clean the Thanks, DTC 4500. So you're going to get the label with the uh, cardboard box um, part number 86177 for the DTC 4500 printer. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open it up and you're actually going to get a kind of like a, a pamphlet with it that has the instructions of how to clean the DTC 4500. Um, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it through the printer or you can do it through the computer. Um, the printer is probably the easiest way to, I mean, yeah, the printer is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, doesn't take as much, just a couple presses of a button. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do after you pull out the swaps and the cleaning cards is you're gonna wanna take out the ribbon. So to take out the ribbon, just pull this up. Pull these out and set it aside. You also take out the cleaning roller. And yes, you do okay. also take out the cleaning. Roller. That comes with the ribbon, so. And that one, nice. you want to set somewhere to where it does not stick, stick like that. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just throw this back in there. After you're done doing that. You want to take out the cards, set them on a clean surface so they do not get dirty. And then you can leave this bottom one open and you can close the top. Um, once you do that, go ahead and get a cleaning card ready. And so when that comes out, you're gonna want to peel off. There's three places to peel off the cover to the sticky. So when you get it, both, both sides are going to be sticky. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to, there's a hammer and a wrench on the front of the screen um, under the pause button. You're going to want to go ahead and hit the pause button, hit the down arrow, and then get to toolbox. Once you get to toolbox, you can press enter. And right when you press enter, the first thing that pops up is the clean printer. Once you get clean printer, it's going to say cleaning printer. You're going to want to go ahead and push the bottom hopper down and go ahead and feed it in. And once it's in there, it's just going to start going back and forth and start cleaning. And it will come out of the bottom card eject and not the top. The bottom is down here. Um, you can also push in the cover as well so it is not sticking out anywhere and not visible. Um, from there, look at it. You can run it more than once if you want to. You just have to go back through the same steps. And from there, 
you are ready to go. Okay. And then cleaning the printhead. Oh, cleaning the printhead. Uh, we're yes. Yeah, sure. too, are we? Yes, we are. So that's what the swabs are for. Um, when you get the swab, you can, what you'll do is you'll actually just fold it in half and you'll hear a snap. Um, once you hear that snap, that's when the alcohol is going to be released into the cotton. And so once that is finished, you can, I mean, once that's popped, you can just kind of squeeze it and uh, let some alcohol get in there. Um, from there, right in here, you're going to see this little bracket that looks like a triangle. On the top of that bracket is where the print head is. And you're just going to go ahead and just rub it back and forth a couple times um, just to get some alcohol on there, see if you can get some some dust and some dirt off of there and once you're done with that you're going to you can go ahead and actually put this to the side um, back in the bag if you'd like let it dry out so you can actually reuse it and once you're done doing that you have cleaned the printer and you can go ahead and put the supplies back in the cleaning roller back in also the cards. And you're ready to go. All right, thanks Douglas. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to have the bad photo ID of the day and here it is. Um, while you're looking at that, if you have any questions, sub submit them to us on our Facebook part of our website. Our website is idedge.com. Our phone number is 800-798 3343 and give us a call or go to our website we'll meet or beat any price um, so give us a chance and you'll be happy you did